<clears throat> I am in a watershed right now, and so are you. A watershed is an area of land where water flows from the highest points and collects in the lowest points. Watersheds can be small, like this lake behind me, or they can be really big, like the Pacific Ocean. But if I'm in a watershed, where's the water? Well, 2020 has been a dry year because we've been in a drought. That means we didn't get very much rain. And that makes me wonder, hmm, how does drought affect our watershed? Hmm. Hmm. How do you think this watershed will be different once it has rained and the seasons change? As a watershed explorer, you are going to explore these types of questions and more. You are going to learn how drought and stormwater pollution affects living things in your watershed. And that includes you. So let's get started by learning more about Solano County's watersheds. Are you ready to go on an adventure around the county with me? I know I am. All right, let's go. So hey there, I am in Sassoon City, which is part of the Sassoon Marsh watershed. Even though we're here in downtown Sassoon, we are actually on the Sassoon Marsh right now because a lot of the marsh has been developed over to create this beautiful city. When it rains in Sassoon and Fairfield, that water runs off from the hills, from the high points, flows down to the low points, collects in streams and creeks, goes into storm drains, and eventually ends up right here. So I am here in Glen Cove, which is a part of the city of Vallejo. Glen Cove is also really close to the city of Venetia. Behind me, I have the Carquinez Strait. If you live in Glen Cove or the city of Venetia, all of your water travels from the hills, going into storm drains and ending up right here. So this is your watershed, the Carquinez Strait watershed. The rest of the city of Vallejo, not including Glen Cove, is actually part of the San Pablo Bay watershed, which is just on the other side of the Carquinez Bridge that's behind me. Remember that water flows from the higher points from the mountains and flows down to the lower points until it eventually comes here into the bay and then out into the Pacific Ocean. Let's go to the other end of the county and explore the Sacramento River watershed. Right now, I'm in the city of Vacaville and right next to me is the Eulatus Creek. Eulatus Creek is one of the major creeks that goes from the hilltops of Vacaville and drains all the way out to the Sacramento River. So I am standing in the Sacramento River watershed. I want you to take a look at the creek right next to me and come up with a list of things that you observe. What do you notice about this creek? I'm noticing that there's a lot of trash in the creek. I see a soccer ball, I see food wrappers, all kinds of stuff. Now that we've seen what a creek in Solano County looks like, Let's check out some other places stormwater might end up. Right now, I am in Dixon, and right behind me is Pond C. Pond C and Dixon are part of the Sacramento River watershed. When it rains here in Dixon and that stormwater hits the ground, it goes into storm drains, and this is one of the ponds where all the storm drains in Dixon drain out to. Water flows into Pond C from nearby neighborhoods, and it flows all the way around Pond C. The hope is that when water flows in from the city, things like trash and motor oil and pet waste can get filtered out by all of the plants and all of the soil before it goes out to the Sacramento River and then out to the ocean. I'm in Rio Vista, which is part of the Sacramento River watershed. That's the Sacramento River right behind me. And right over there is the Rio Vista Bridge. When it rains here in Rio Vista, stormwater hits the ground, goes into storm drains, and ends up right here in the Sacramento River. Whew. What a journey. We just explored 
all over Solano County looking at our four major watersheds. The Sacramento River watershed, the Sassoon Marsh watershed, the Carquina Strait watershed, and the San Pablo Bay watershed. Which one do you live in? Do you remember? We can't wait for our watershed explorers field trip with you.